Okay, so first of all, I want my hyperlinks to split across multiple lines to get rid of these gaps here. So I'm going to go to insert and symbol and more symbols. Then go to special characters and select a no width optional break and insert. And now you'll see that the hyperlink is split across two lines. And this hyperlink will still work if I control click on it. It will open up the web page. And even though you can't see anything visibly different, if I go to home and show hidden formatting symbols, you'll see that there is this new symbol here, which looks like a rectangle with a smaller rectangle inside of it. And this is a no width optional break. It's also called a no width space and a zero width space. And this symbol works like a space, but it doesn't take up any actual space in the document. And the reason why the hyperlink still works is if I go to edit hyperlink, you'll see that there are actually two links here. One is the actual address and the other is the text to display. So, so long as you are only editing the text in this box, the hyperlink will still work. Now there are actually multiple different ways to insert this symbol into Microsoft Word. If I go back to insert and symbol and more symbols, and then in the subset list, scroll down to general punctuation, and then it is the 12th character across. And this time it is called a zero width space. And I can insert this. And you'll see I get a, another symbol in here. Now, another way of inserting the symbol is to use a keyboard shortcut. And you'll see the zero width space has the shortcut key 200B Alt plus X. So if I type this in, 200B, Alt X, it will put in another zero width space here. And then there is also another keyboard shortcut for this, but it has to be typed in using the numeric keypad on the keyboard. And that is Alt 8203. And that puts in another zero width space. And then finally, you can also create your own customized keyboard shortcut for this. So go to symbol and more symbols, then special characters and select the no width optional break and then select shortcut key. And then you can type in whatever new shortcut key you want. I am going to do alt forward slash and it will tell you down here if the new keyboard shortcut is currently assigned to anything or not. And it is unassigned, so I'm going to assign it. And then close this and close this. And now if I press Alt forward slash, it will add in a new zero width space. Now let's say you want to add in a zero width space after every single forward slash in a hyperlink select all of the text, then go to home and editing and replace. And I want to find every single forward slash and I want to find only the forward slashes in the text I currently have selected. Then I am going to replace that with a forward slash and a zero width space. And the symbol for a zero width space is a caret symbol and the letter O. And then replace all. And I don't want to search the rest of the document. And then close. And now I have a zero width space added in after every forward slash. And if I switch off the show hidden formatting symbols, you can see it looks perfectly normal. And if I add in lots of spaces here, the hyperlink will split across two lines, no matter where the text is. 
and the hyperlink will still work if I control click on it. It opens up the web page. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a hyperlink text wrap in Microsoft Word, and that is everything.